You are welcome to this video. Sometimes you might be looking for a tool that is not available on eh? Kalinus. But there is this uh, community of developers that share their softwares and tools. And you can find these developers on GitHub. So sometimes you might be looking for a tool and that you don't know the name or you don't even know if the tool exists. But you can easily do a quick search to find out if such tool do exist. So you can simply go to Google and do a Google search such as information gathering tools github here we see IP information gathering information gathering tools Sherlock I'm going to click on information gathering tools github And if I go down, these are the tools, Sherlock, Spiderfoot, the Harvester, Photon, you can see a lot of them here. So this is assume that we don't know how this tool works or what to do with it. So I'm going to teach you how to find out how to use the tool. And this is also the harvest that we saw in our previous video. So all you need to do now is check what each of these two can do. Like this one is a hacking tool. A penetration testing framework. This is Wiseflow. Use LLMs to dig out what you care about from massive amount of information and a variety of source of sources daily. I will be interested in this. But let's go ahead. Automated penetration testing framework. Open source vulnerability scanner. Vulnerability management. This is another one I would like to test out recon a high performance offensive security tool for reconnaissance and vulnerability scanning okay here we are not interested in actual scanning we want to find out a tool that we can use to get information that are available on the public domain so this one is for scanning ip address email website organizations and mr holmes a complete open source intelligent tool. So let's see how to install Mr. Holmes. So there are two ways to do this. You can either come here and copy this code, but let's go down and see and use the information given below. Installation Linux stroke mark. If you encounter some errors in the Python libraries installation use this method. So what it means is that these are different installation methods you can use. Now I've tried this, but I couldn't arrive at anything good. So right now I'm going to try this since I have errors as it says here. I'll copy the whole of this and I'll go to my terminal. Now, I want to do this on the desktop. Let me find out where I, I am, in case I don't know. I'll say PWD. So I would like to go to desktop. So I'll use CD, desktop, then LS again. So right now, I'm on the desktop. All right, this was the previous installation that wasn't successful because I used this. So I want to try this now. So I'll copy all of this, which is the code under the event environment. And I'll come here and paste and I'll hit enter. So here it's telling me that this exists before. So right now he said, welcome to installation manager. Would you like to begin? 
I will say yes with one. Now hit enter. And two, would you like to set manual or automatic installation? Two is automatic, so I want to hit two on the keyboard. Now hit enter. Then I'll give you some time to do this thing. So it says, thank you for have installed Mr. Holmes. Now collecting PY QR code. So I'll wait until this installation is completed. Okay, it seems uh, this one is the right way to do this since the first one didn't give me any headway. So let's watch and see how it's going to end. All right. So here it says this tool is made only for educational purposes and research purposes only. I do not assume any kind of responsibility for any improbuse of this tool. Use it with good sense. Press Y to accept and n to decline so i'm going to press y and hit enter and here i have mr holmes this is what we need here insert an option option press zero to refresh the quote so here we have one to 15 operations you can perform using this tool the first one is social account OSINT, domain IP OSINT, database GUI, port scanner, doc generator, phone number OSINT, configuration update email, people OSINT, encoding decoding, PDF graph converter, file transfer, session option, and 15 to finally exit. So the only one we have permission to perform here is domain and IP. OSINT. This is a passive information gathering because this information is available to the public and anyone can access it. So I'm going to use three on my keyboard and hit enter. And it said insert a domain or an IP address. It could be IP version 4 or 6. So let's use the ones we've used before. For example, let's try. So it's saying searching for example.net. So here we have IP address, nation, United States, the code, US, region, then city, time zone, ISP. We have the latitude and longitude and the zip and postal code for this domain which we are allowed to use for learning purpose. So if you're hired by any organization, you have to replace this example.net with the company's domain or IP address. I believe you've seen how powerful this tool is. So these are the things you can do with it. And some of them I cannot show you here because they are unethical. So, this happens to be one of the most useful tools so far because it tells us more about what we have covered in the previous videos. So that is it for Mr. Holmes. And this is exactly how to search for a tool which is not available on Kali Linux and how to install it 
make use of it and use it to carry out your so i'll advise you to go back to github open some of those tools there try to follow it step by step that's all for this video i will see you on the next one